The equator is an unlikely place to find ice, but if you look hard enough and climb high enough, you can find it. There are 25 mountains at latitude zero with glaciers, and due to climate change, they're dying, and they'll be gone in the next 25 years. We've been walking for about an hour now, and we're gaining altitude. <laughs> the breathing is getting uh, tougher. We're here at Camp One of a trip up Mount Kenya as part of the 25 Zero campaign to look at the impact that climate change is having on glaciers. There's another pipeline here along the straight line. You can actually see that goes up that little gorge. The stream is completely dried out. People are putting pipes in higher and higher up the mountain in gravity feeding water all the way down. And these are coming from the problems of global warming and the stresses the communities uh, are feeling around water scarcity. Uh, I'm the only one in the, in the gang that hasn't done a marathon, so... <laughs> Cities are seen as solutions for economic progress and, and development, right? And what is really interesting is that you know, what Nairobi is today is only like 20% of what it will be in 25 years. So how we decide to kind of fill the, the next 75% would be up to us. Mount Kenya is one of the main sources of water for actually most of central highlands and even all the way down to Nairobi. So as the climate changes, we're seeing drying up of the streams that come down from the mountain towards the low-lying areas. And so the communities suffer from reduced water, reduced rainfall, so they have to look for ways to adapt to this changing climate. We know that around the world, unless we address climate change, there will be 100 million more people living in poverty because of impacts on agricultural production, floods, fires. Tens of millions of those live in Africa. So 4450 is this contour, obviously going down like that. It's actually a bit of a diamond glacier. So I'm sitting at the, uh, the height that the Lewis Glacier would have been. Would have occupied all of this area behind me here. Hundreds and hundreds of meters thick. Terrible, terrible level of change that's happened. Four thousand nine hundred eighty-five meters. So below us is this uh, beautiful glacier, but one a glacier that has shrunk dramatically. You know, these majestic rivers of ice are often just reduced to these little pieces of ice just clinging onto the mountain in the, in the face of the warming that we're forcing upon them. And this is about the worst I've seen. It's an indication of how the impacts of what we do many miles below here, um, across many thousands of miles, has an impact on this environment. You know, by, by, by having lower carbon mobility, by having better buildings, by having cleaner energy, you really get a win-win. We can do something. Um, otherwise, just like this ice, we might just go away as well one day, you know? It's not just about the mountain glaciers. It's about people. It's about local communities. It's about the air that we breathe. It's about the food that we eat, the water that we drink. And it's about where we live. It sounds like something that's tough to do, but remember what Nelson Mandela said, it always seems impossible until it's done. <laughs>